Hello and welcome to part one of this tutorial on how to use the package React Google reCAPTCHA. We're going to be creating a Google reCAPTCHA component and we'll create some app level state with the help of React Redux which will show the current value of the CAPTCHA. For this tutorial you're going to want to know some React because I won't really go over the basics. So let's get started. I've already created an empty React project for us to start in. First, we need to install a few dependencies. We'll be using React Google reCAPTCHA. Redux, React Redux, Redux DevTools extension, and Redux Thunk. Now I'm going to clean up the project by deleting unnecessary files and code. Inside of the index.css, remove everything and just give the body a margin of zero and text align center. I'll create a screens folder and inside it create a home screen.js file. Here we'll create a basic React functional component and name it home screen. Inside our main app.js file, import home screen and then add it inside the React fragment. Now create a components folder, then create another subfolder called my recaptcha. Here create a file named index.js. Create a functional component inside index.js and name the export myRecaptcha. Now import reCAPTCHA from React Google reCAPTCHA. and add that component inside of our return div. Give it an inline style with just a display of inline block. Also add a theme of dark. Now we need to give it a site key, and we have to get that from Google. So head over to google.com slash recaptcha slash admin slash create. And register a site to get a key. Once we've done that, we'll create a constant named site key 
and set that equal to our site key we just got from Google. I have a test key for this video, so I'll paste that in now. Now we'll give reCAPTCHA a site key prop and set that equal to our site key variable. We need to import use state from React to create state and functional components. So create an expired state, which will change with set expired and will be true by default. Next, we need to create a function that will be called when our reCAPTCHA component has changed. Create a function called handle change and leave it empty. Give our reCAPTCHA a prop on change and pass in our handle change function. On change is triggered when the reCAPTCHA is validated or if it expires. On change passes down a value, so we need to take that as an argument in handle change. Now inside our function, we'll check to see if value is true-ish. If it is, set expired to false. If not, we set it expired to true. Okay, now that's all working. Let's move on to implementing Redux and app level state. Inside of the source directory, create a store folder, and inside of store, Create a reducers folder, an actions folder, and an index.js file. We'll start with the index. Import create store and apply middleware from Redux. Import Compose with DevTools from Redux DevTools extension. And import Thunk from Redux Thunk. Now create an initial state constant and set that to an empty object. Create a middleware constant and set that equal to an array with thunk as our one entry. Now create a store constant and set that equal to the create store function. It will have three parameters root reducer, which we haven't imported yet, but we will, initial state, and compose with DevTools, which is another function that will take in apply middleware. For the parameters of apply middleware, we'll use the spread operator to input the contents of our middleware array. Now set store as the default export. Inside of app.js, import provider from React Redux. And now we'll move home screen into the provider component. Now import our Redux store. and pass a store prop to provider, and set that to our imported store. Okay, so we have the basic Redux set up in place, but we don't have any reducers or actions yet. We'll cover that in the next video and finish up the component itself. So for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.